Good morning. It's another beautiful day. Yesterday we had heavy rains. But today we want to plant okra. Do you love okra? This part I want to have okra and I want to use zero cost seeds. So let me prepare the bed very fast. Let's prepare the bed very fast. Once the bed is ready, I can show you the zero cost seeds I'm going to use and we can move on. So I had already prepared this bed some time back, so it's just raising the bed. Okra grows well in uh, soils that can grow corn well. So let me just prepare the bed.
The bed is ready. Those are 200 calories down. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the seeds now. These are zero cost seeds. So if you didn't watch the video on zero cost seeds, please do. Now, let's talk about okra. Okra takes, uh, once you plant them and you get the germination, it takes you about 60 days for you to start harvesting the pods. So these are the pods. And when you're harvesting, you have to look for small pods, like finger length, like this. So these ones, let me tell you the reason why. These ones are soft. So they're nice when you cook them. They're not tough. But these ones that have grown more than my finger, these ones are already hard. They are tough. So when you cook them, they're going to remain hard, even when you cook. So they're not good. So make sure every morning, once you start seeing them forming and their finger length like this, you harvest. Every morning harvest, every morning harvest. Don't delay. If you delay, they grow so fast and they become hard. So I let these ones grow and become hard so that I can get seeds. When it dries up, it looks like this. So it has the seeds inside. So I just remove the seeds from this one. And it's so easy to remove them. Let me just demonstrate very fast. Let me get another dry one. Okay, let's take this one. This one is dry. So all you have to do is just to split it open. See? These are the seeds. Hope you can see. So you just open it like that. And you get the seeds. These are zero cost seeds. It didn't cost me anything to get these seeds. So I'm building my food forest. And I won't waste any seed. So what is going to remain from this, I'm going to store it well in a dry place. And I'll just keep on building seeds. During the lockdown, it came to a point it was difficult for us to get seeds. Because some seeds you have to import. So when you have your seeds, it's good because you can grow your own food. So that's what you do, just get the seeds very fast. So one pod has, uh, let's see how many seeds it has. Let's just see how many seeds it has. Okay. Wow. <laughs> A beautiful flower. <laughs> okay, let's see how many seeds it has. So that's four, eight, ten. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if all this germinates, these are 25, and that's enough for this bed. When you're facing okra, they are supposed to grow 24 inches apart. Because okra grows about 6 feet, 2 to 6 feet tall. And these ones are pretty tall. Two to six feet tall so you have to space them and the leaves are wide i think i have a photo somewhere and post it the flowers look like hibiscus beautiful yellow flowers with something purple in the middle 
So before you plant, it's advisable to soak the seeds in water again. Here I've just soaked the seeds in water. So you just soak the seeds in water just to stimulate faster germination. Then I'm going to make holes and the next step is to add my compost. Because I want to grow it with compost, I want the compost to supply nutrients to the plant. So let me just get this, let it aside so that I can make the holes and add the compost. So let me make the holes, just an inch deep, and um, my aim is to get at least 60 centimeters apart, 24 inches, at least 60 centimeters apart. So I don't want to do it like this, I'm just going to do a zigzag pattern like this, very fast, and see whether that will work. So now my soil is so fine, the soil is fine, I've removed any things that can injure my hands, all the things I've removed them. Those stones have come from the head, so sometimes they fall on the bed, so I'm always careful when I'm preparing the bed, not to injure my hands. Okay, that's done. So now I'm going to add the compost. So just a generous amount of compost. And I'm going to top up the compost after about two weeks around the plant I'll, I'll add more compost so once they germinate that's about a week so the second week I'm just going to be topping up more compost to supply nutrients to the plants so let me add the compost to all the holes I've made then we are going to plant very fast.
So I've added the compost to all the holes I've made. Here is a close look. And I've mixed the compost. Just do this, just mix it up. So I matured this compost for three months. Kitchen scraps, goat manure, cow dung, green matter and dry matter. So you can see the difference in color between the garden soil and the compost. So it's good enough. So now I just want, you want to plant the seeds. And I'm going to plant, I'm going to put two seeds for every hole. Once they germinate, I'm going to leave the strong one and remove the weak one. So that I have only one. So these holes are not many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14. So they're not many seeds. So what I have is enough. These are the seeds. So I soak them just to stimulate germination. So this is enough for all these holes. Okay, let me place you down so I can turn the seeds. So two seeds per hole. Then I'm going to remove the weak one. Just a close look again. The cutting is so looks so hard, so that's why you have to soak them in water. So just one, two. And each dip is good enough. In seven days, it is celebrating the two adults. I have to do an update. An opera, the other crop. This is a close look of how I've planted the seeds. So, for every hole, I've just placed two seeds. After mixing the compost with the garden soil, then you just cover lightly. That's all. So I'm expecting germination in about a week. But I'll keep on posting more updates. So remember to subscribe so that you and click the notifications bell so that you watch the updates. The last step is just to water. So I have my watering can here. So you just water and that's done. So I've watered the patch, the whole patch. I have a new video coming up on how you can save water. If you don't have a lot of water, you can still have a backyard garden. So remember to subscribe, you learn the tricks I'm using and you can get food at a cheap costs you can save your money and that's all for this video friends thank you for watching remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye